share this channel on the internet. Welcome back to the What Is channel on the internet. And this is part two of the Lover's Key Adventure. But no, 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 no. Wipe those nasty thoughts off your mind because it ain't what you think. Actually, Lover's Key is very popular to the locals here because they allow to bring your dogs to the beach. And that's why we're bringing Asuka with us today. And we're taking advantage of the beautiful sunny day just like the other boaters are too. Because by the time we got to the miserable mile, it was a traffic jam. And on our way down south to Lover's Key, we found a few patches of sardines and we tried to catch them. But we had no luck and just had to keep going down south by Fort Myers Beach. And the beach course were taking advantage of the day too because it was pretty full. In about a 25 minute ride from Fort Myers, we have reached Lover's Key. And here too, people were taking advantage of the beautiful day because it was pretty full. And it took a few minutes to find an open spot by the sand, but we did and we drove right in. And we're right back where we left off of part one. And if you want to see the full detailed video, I'm going to leave a link on, on this video description below. And how cool is this? As soon as we pulled up, we met a friend and a fan. And his name is Herbie. And he used to live on the West Coast for Lauderdale about three years ago. But he's moved over here and so far he loves it. Even though he lived right through the hurricane and his house got damaged. Okay, guys, so we're hanging out at Dog's Key. What? Dog Beach. Dog Beach. No, said it all wrong. <laughs> here in, uh, what is it? Fort Myers. Yeah, Fort Myers. Uh, and here hanging out with Herbie. What's Herbie up? from Miami. He's also hanging out here at the, at the West Coast. And whoa, whoa, we were talking to Herbie. Asuka was jumping around in the water. That's why she's all wet. <laughs> Asuka in the water. Maybe she wants to go without the bed. Well, what do you guys think about Lover's Key Dog Beach? I think it's amazing. Love it here. All right, let's go over there. Come on, Azuka. Azuka. Let's go. Come on. Mommy, come on, Azuka. She's not going to jump. Mama. Get her. Come on, Mama. Come on, Mama. Oh, yeah, she did. Okay, so a few people have asked me what type of dog is Asuka and who is she? Well, I guess you must be new to the channel because she is the second litter of Cookie and Yuli and she's a half mix toy poodle and shih tzu so she is considered a sheep poo and here's the part that's really cool about this beach you can bring your dog and take him swimming with you or you can let him run loose and they'll go swimming on their own like Asuka is doing <laughs> definitely people are enjoying their day here with their dog and this side of the island we have just the boaters and you can only get here by boat but the other side you can actually get there by car and we're gonna take a walk around while Ogita and Asuka run around
fishing while I was walking around. And Ogita running around, Frequita was doing some fishing. That he saw a few snooks and sheepheads running around, but I think he had no luck. Check this out guys, it's like a, I guess, cove, lagoon, I don't know what you want to call it, inside here and look, other than the seaweed, but it's pretty clear here, I'm actually amazed how clear the water's been here lately, and Fresco's doing his thing over there, and the cool thing, I guess you can hang out here, right, it's really shallow, or you can just, right there, this is awesome, this is awesome, another place to hang out at the west side, Alright guys, so the best part of the day is here, baby. Food time. And what time is it? Yeah, we got sausages and chicken today. Also, there you have it, another awesome place on the west coast that survived the hurricane destruction path. Lover's Key and you can come hang out with your family and friends and also bring your dog. And definitely we're coming back with the rest of the crew including Yuli and Cookie and Asuka one more time because she loved it here. And we did too but it's about that time to start picking up and heading back. But we got a little bit of bad news because I noticed the wind picked up a little bit. So what we decided to do was just push the boat back and turn it around without turning the motors on because there were so many people in the water. We didn't want to hit nobody, nor with the boat or the propeller. Plus it's pretty shallow here so we could just walk it off to the deep part, then jump on and start it. And actually we were pretty surprised that right now it's about 5.30 in the afternoon and a, a lot of boaters are still here because the southwest boaters are known to leave around 3. And I'm starting to understand why because I noticed after 3 o'clock the actual wind picks up or sometimes it rains. So I guess that's why everybody goes home around 3. But for us, no rain or wind is gonna cut our day short.
Yep, as soon as we picked our nose outside the channel, it looked really windy and rough. So it's going to be a bumpy ride back home in an hour and 30 minutes at that. And for those people that's the first time watching our video or visiting our channel and you like what you saw today, well, we got plenty more coming. So make sure to subscribe and turn on all the notifications like that. Every time we upload a video, you'll get notified and you can watch them. And if you guys want to keep up with our daily activities, make sure to follow us on Instagram. And well, I think our hour and 30 minute ride is going to turn even longer because instead of cruising at 30 miles an hour, right now we're cruising at 20. We didn't want to bounce around the waves because from a perfect flat day, it turned into a two to three with an occasional four and five. And that is another reason why we're looking to buy a bigger boat for the West Coast. Yep, it normally takes us about 25 minutes from Punta Raza to Lover's Key, but this time with rough weather, it took us almost an hour, but we made it though. And now we're gonna start riding in calmer waters. Well, I guess I could say it was an almost perfect day. Started really good, but towards the end, the wind picked up like you guys saw, and it gave us a rough ride home. But we made it though, and glad we went all the way down to Lover's Keep because it was awesome to see everybody there. Plus, the island survived the hurricane with minimal damage. And I guess Asuka the smell were close to home. And well, like I always say at the end of the videos, it was another great day out in the water, doing what we love. And it's always a pleasure to share it with you guys via YouTube around the world. And for those people that are new to the channel, our posting dates are live stream on Monday, Tuesday, 12 p.m., Thursday, throwback at 12 p.m., and Saturday, 12 p.m. And until next time, let's all keep having fun in the sun, and I'll catch you guys out in the water.